Yo, hi there, and these comments are for one of my students in my Critical Thinking Level 6 class here at California State University, San Bernardino, and wow, that's one of the main things I'm going to say here is you have very good control over your organization, your tone, your language use. It just goes on and on and on. So anybody who's watching this video, this is what you want to do when you summarize somebody else's ideas. So you said Stephen J. Gold in his article, Sex, Drugs, Disasters, and the Extinction of Dinosaurs, distinguishes between science and speculation in the extinction of dinosaurs theories and evaluates these theories based on his definition of science and speculation. Okay, let's see. We have Gold states that science is testable, expandable, and provable because it is based on evidence. On the other hand, he claims that speculations are untestable since they lack evidence. Therefore, scientists cannot prove or disprove speculation and they can do nothing with it. Perfect, the author explains the sex theory regarding the extinction of dinosaurs, having narrow range of temperature of the male dinosaur's testes I'm going to use a plural verb here, were not able to function due to the increase of temperature during that period. Thus, they were not able to reproduce. According to the author, this theory is only speculation because scientists cannot test it since soft tissue does not fossilize. They cannot know in which temperatures a dinosaur's testes function would not function since testes does not fossilize. Exactly. Very nice. He says, for the drug theory, gold states that dinosaurs, unless you give the name of the dinosaur, I don't think you need to give, you don't need to give, make it capitalized. Uh, dinosaurs die because of the poison of flowering plants and dinosaurs' livers. I think you want to use a plural possessive noun here, not like that. Uh, could not detoxify the poison, therefore they, don't forget your verb here, they became, <coughs> excuse me, I, I think extinct is an adjective, it doesn't work as a verb. The author also marks this theory of speculation since it lacks evidence. I uh, like the testes. I like how you're doing this. The liver is a soft tissue, tissue, and it does not fossilize. Hence, there are only data in the fossil record in order to test whether the dinosaurs. There are not data in the fossil record in order to test whether the dinosaurs' liver could detoxify the flowering plants or not. Good, this is good. I like how you're using different types of cause effect. For example, therefore, or thus, or hence. Why do I like that? That shows that you have very good control over your vocabulary. It's very, very good. The last theory, the disastrous theory. I'm going to give you a prepositional phrase here so you don't have two subjects in here. So in the last theory, the author explains it as a 10, kilo, 10, not kilogram, you want to say kilometer. A 10 kilometer comet hit the earth during that period, which caused the dust to accumulate in the sky and maybe to block the sunlight. Thus, a decrease of the temperature, it's led to the Use a noun form, not an adjective, led to the extinction of many animals and plants. Gold claims his theory as a science because unlike, I like how you're synthesizing these ideas here, by the way. Unlike the previous theories, this one is testable since iridium and outer space rock 
could be found in the earth where the dinosaur's testes and livers do not exist anymore. I'm going to say whereas, I think you want, you're trying to show direct contrast here, not just location. So I think overall, this is a very good summary. It's accurate, it's complete. You have a good introduction. You do not misrepresent any information and you have excellent control over your vocabulary, your grammar, your sentence structure, your punctuation and on and on and on. So thank you for completing this assignment.